What's up, Bitcoin Radio? It's your man, Joe Blackburn, here with Jim Scampoli. And today, we are fresh back from the Thanksgiving week. I hope everybody had a safe, wonderful holiday already. If you're not in the States, obviously, us Americans, we were celebrating Thanksgiving. Uh, but, you know, this leads us to the most wonderful time of the year, especially historically for Bitcoin. It's been a, a wonderful, wonderful one month, you know, that we've, uh, I guess, if we go back to 2017, that we... That we were able to uh, enjoy um, as Bitcoin rose um, exponentially all the way up to almost twenty thousand dollars just a couple of years back, and you know last year obviously we didn't enjoy the same benefits. But historically, Bitcoin does have a, uh, a pretty good run. And anyways, uh, we've got Jim on as as the huge now. Uh, Jim, how's it going, man? Good, good. Uh, how about yourself? Oh, bro, dude. You know, like I look forward to christmas just as an individual right like it's a fun it, it's just to me it's i just have a lot of great memories around christmas and so leading up to christmas you know i get to go get the christmas tree at some point this week i gotta go put some lights up on the front i pretend like i'm like all aggravated about it but really i'm just having a great time you know what i mean it's just that time of the year dude oh absolutely no i'm right there with you i'm a big i'm a big uh fan of christmas actually this weekend my girlfriend and I, we've been putting up our decorations, our tree, all that good stuff. Very fun, very festive time of year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to get in the spirit. You know, hey, do you uh, like, did you do any Black Friday shopping, by the way? I did not. No, no, I'm not really big into Black Friday. I mean, I've uh, I've worked retail, so I've worked <laughs> Black Friday. And <laughs> don't get me wrong. I mean, there are deals, but most of the deals are not really deals. If, if I guess for kind of an insider scoop, like I'm not saying there aren't any, but the ones that you want are the ones that if you want to like sleep outside for a couple days, sure. yeah, because those are going to be gone quick. Yep. The rest of the stuff is a pretty decent sale, but usually stuff you'll see fairly close to that. So it's it, like the doorbusters are the big ones. Uh, fair, fair. You know, uh, and I'll even go as far to say like I have never actually shopped black friday i will participate in the cyber monday and i do feel like you're actually getting a few better or at least like i save up for that moment in time i gotta buy yeah. christmas presents anyways right jim so sure. you know i mean i put together this little stack you know and i'm like okay now i gotta go spend it on my friends and family so anyways yeah, but like you said i've also worked retail at, at points and although uh i i don't really you know i wouldn't want to say that i have the, the experience that you do but um it, it is a pain especially the day after thanksgiving come on man i'm 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 either hungover or I'm too fat or too full to to move. You know, I feel bad for everybody working, but cheers to everybody who is the working man. Yeah. I mean, never mind that. Some of it, like thankfully I didn't have to do this, but you know, nowadays they gotta come in like Thanksgiving evening, like six, seven o'clock. And it's like, oh geez. Yep. And yep. I mean, hey, I get it because uh people out there want to get the deals as soon as you can, but you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, you can find them online. I, I still, I still, I, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, being hypocritical here because I also still like to support my big box locations. I'm a, I'm a fan of the old brick and mortar store, sure. uh, so I like to spread my business around. But yeah, usually you can find some good deals online. Of course, when that Cyber Monday rolls around. Absolutely. Well, that leads me into like, you know, we were getting other good deals as in the form of Bitcoin, right? So yeah. Bitcoin had a Black Friday sale for the most part. We've kind of been experiencing Black Friday sale for Bitcoin now for about a week and a half, two weeks now. And, you know, I mean, people can say what they want. When I get a chance to buy a little bit of Bitcoin and put it away, whether it's, you know, $5 worth, whatnot, you know, I always do it and I just forget about it. And we'll probably have some, you know, uh, hopefully if things go as planned and Jim, uh, you know, a little bit about this, but we're not going to go into too much detail, but we have some, maybe some announcement announcements to add on to Bitcoin for Christmas. We'll be able to figure that out maybe by the end of the week and maybe, we'll, I mean, maybe even by our live show here in the next couple of days. But, yeah. uh, but it, leading up to that, man, like we already have Bitcoin for Christmas. If you haven't checked out the website, it's literally Bitcoin, the number four, Bitcoin for Christmas.com. And on that website, it's pretty much just a, a basic walkthrough tutorial on on everything from talking to your family about Bitcoin during the holidays to, you know, where would I go to buy it? How do I store? What is it? I mean, the, everything is right there. And I really, you know, for a, for a podcast, there's a reason why we want to talk about this. We're about to really start putting out some things for you, the uh, the Bitcoin enthusiast, and maybe the newcomer, or maybe someone who wants to, you know, just be like, hey, look, I don't have time to explain Bitcoin today to your friend, but this is where you can at least start. Go check out bitcoinforchristmas.com. It really is an all around just guide, you know, and I mean, 
obviously, you know, the website, we'll put it in the description for you, but it, it's, it's got a countdown. We got 22 days. I mean, even if you just want to know how much longer you got till Christmas, Jim, it's right there. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, and yeah, I mean, uh, most likely if you're listening to this show, we do understand you already kind of have a grasp on a lot of this stuff and it's for you, but it's for you to be able to hand off to your family, to your friends, because I'm sure, you know, the, the, the crypto verse belongs to all of us. We're all That's doing right. our part. Uh, this is kind of a little cheat sheet to help you do your part and uh, try to make it fun. Try to make it festive for the season uh, you know, uh, whether it be Christmas or whatever holidays you're celebrating here at the, as the year's winding down, sure. um, and just a lot of fun content as well. Like when you go to Bitcoin number four, Christmas.com, uh, you know, you'll have your, your basic guides and stuff on there too, because I'm sure, you know, even me as a noob, when I'm trying to explain this to some people, uh, when you start explaining it, some people, you know, maybe their eyes gloss over or maybe they're like, uh, they're kind of getting it. But this is going to be something, you know, you give them the basics. They can sit down. They can they can go through it on their own time, maybe make a little bit more sense of it. But the more important thing is that uh, you'll see, you know, we got the the Bitcoin Jesus video up there. I know some people kind of took a little bit of offense to that. I, I understand, you know, I don't think anyone's trying to uh be blasphemous to your beliefs it's sure. just kind of having a little fun uh with what's going on here but you have the video there which is always you know it's a helpful fun little thing to send someone but if you click on the link below that where it says view rest of our content um there are some memes and stuff you can share and as we know in this digital age memes are the best best way to communicate quickly send a send a message to someone uh so there's a plethora of images for you to go through that maybe you can send around to your friends and put on your social media um because again it's not like we've mentioned this in the past it's not like this site is generating revenue for us or something like that this is it's not and it's not like you're not entering any information on this site this is strictly information to help spread the word because you know the the name of the game for crypto and bitcoin is mass adoption and that's the uh end game here yeah well said well said you know and uh, and like i'll even touch that you brought up the bitcoin jesus uh bitcoin jesus video and i'm a man of faith i go to church i consider jesus a pretty close friend right it's pretty cool dude i mean but i mean the bitcoin and cryptocurrency is impartial to, all, to a lot of uh we're less divisive we don't we don't put up the barriers uh that other uh, niches or other, you know, organizations or whether you're doing political stuff or whether you're doing sports, you know, Bitcoin's pretty, pretty um, agnostic as a whole. It just, there's just not a, there's not a reason for one to fit the other. And as I just noted, you know, as someone who does, uh, who does go to church and who, who, uh, who does consider himself a man of faith. I mean, I think it's a little bit fun, right? I mean, it's, I don't think there's anything too bad about it. Right. We, we did get a little bit pushback and I, rightfully so maybe this some in some sure. people's eyes i don't want to i'm not sitting here judging or saying it this one way or the next but you know what it did it got a lot of attention right yeah it got a lot of attention and you know i'm thinking about this jim you know the meme is just like the next version of the dumber and maybe funnier uh flyer right like like you go around this back in the day when we were kids you know you might go to the like pass by the bus station you get like 25 flyers on there how did you catch someone's attention the same way that people catch people's attention with memes right and we got a bunch of great memes but it, don't you think that's kind of like a good comparison it's just a flyer yeah absolutely a flyer it's a billboard it's just a nice little thing you throw up on your social media because you know you type a wall of text people are going to scroll right past that you know what i mean if you yep. like depending i mean everything has its time and place I'm sure in CCT, people share a lot like, you know, long breakdowns on crypto and that's your audience. So people will want to read through that or they'll want to interact with that. But this is more for your general page, you know, maybe something to catch someone's eye. They're going to click on that and maybe ask you more about it. And again, it's even if they don't go to Bitcoin for Christmas dot com, if they're just asking you about it, then that's mission accomplished. We're just trying to get the conversation going, trying to keep it going. And it, uh, it helps all of us. Yeah. And I don't want to give too much away, but just imagine this, imagine if there was a company and this, I, I'm completely unaffiliated with it. Anybody who's doing this, I'm just letting you know that I've, I've found out that this exists, that you can literally go and buy some Bitcoin and then that Bitcoin's time locked, 
right, Jim? So like you can't even go like if you receive that Bitcoin, you literally have to hold it good or bad, right? I mean, it is what it is. So if you want to lock it up for a year or lock it up for five years, I was talking about this a while back about like having like some sort of Bitcoin piggy bank where you could personally, like I could use this at times. Like, so I don't go and put some stuff on my BitPay account, you know, and then use it, use my card. But, you know, I, I could on a disciplinary, you know, side of things, make a case for me needing this myself. But, you know, even for your family who you might be worried about giving your brother or your little cousin some, cause he's going to go spend it on shoes or whatever. And you, this is this kind of, uh, you know, I'm going to talk about this. I'm at least going to interview them. I think, you know, that's, that's something I really think is relevant to that's this cool. space. And um, hopefully, you know, I was talking to Josh Donaldson, who's a member of the team, obviously. And, you know, Bitcoin for Christmas is a brain like it's a it's a brain work. I don't even want to call it a brainchild. It's like something it embodies everything Patrick's ever done. Right. And everybody knows Patrick McLean. He's given tons of Bitcoin away to, to just about, you know, anybody who is paying attention, who, who tried to participate in the, um, the contest, whether he's letting you guess next week's price of Bitcoin or just literally when he gave so much money away from the start of Bitcoin radio. I mean, I obviously Jim, both me and you think really highly of him and he's been a great friend to us. And also, you know, with mouse belt, he's the uh, CEO and, um, one of the co-founders, I mean, the guys, just the busiest dude on planet earth and crypto. Uh, but do makes time to make sure the little man knows how to get in. Right. I mean, they just, it's a, it's a big part of what he wants. He sees this truly as a revolution where a lot of people think, see it simply as a way to make money. Right. And he, he sees it very differently. It's what attracts me so much to how he does business. Um, anyways, but Jim, you know, if you're, if you're somebody who's brand new, you see this website. I mean, I, I got to say on a personal level, I know that I can skip ahead things and I just take things as like, I already know what that means. So I don't even think about it. It's just subconsciously, but you're, you, you, you can still put yourself in those shoes. Like, I mean, when you look at this website, it's pretty simple, is it not? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's uh cause again, it's not like it's, it's not designed to really get much uh, from you besides just give you information and give you a platform to give information out of the people. So you got the guides right there on the front page. Uh, you got the content and the memes, like we said. And I mean, I think even the other side of it too, the way you could look at it is, uh, if you're looking like if you're the crypto head in your family and you're just hoping to maybe get Bitcoin for Christmas, like wow. you're not even concerned with, buying it for your uh friends and loved ones but loved ones but you want a way for them to be able to buy it for you this is perfect for that as well <laughs> great point jim folks if you're trying to leave a hint for mom or for wifey or whoever or husbandy you know you just send them the link right you know or tell me i'll, I'll drop them a line put something in their stocking for them you know give them hey mom i want some bitcoin look i mean it's better than getting cash in my opinion like i i yeah. i love the ability to be able if you have cash and you want to go buy something on eBay, you can't. You can't, right? No, yeah, you're SOL. <laughs> I mean, like you you've got to go, you've got to go put it somewhere. You can go, I guess you can go buy an eBay like gift card or something like that. But Bitcoin, I got my BitPay card and my Bitcoin, and I can go buy whatever I want, including take out cash because BitPay reallowed cash withdrawals, by the way. I don't know if you were part of that whole deal when they stopped letting you do that, but I think last month they actually reopened it. I haven't done it yet, but yeah, uh, no, I haven't need to. I, I don't know. I'm not sure what that. I wasn't really around for any of that type of stuff. I think it was like the first of the year last year. I, I really don't remember. Uh, and I've only taken cash out a few times I've, that I've needed it. But uh, they literally stopped us. Yeah, they were, I guess they were trying to figure out the laws, you know. And BitPay is, I think, out of Atlanta, Georgia, if I remember correctly. Could be wrong. But obviously, they're trying to follow the rules. They're a real, they're a real you know, banking in, excuse me, institute. And they're sitting there, you know. Taking your Bitcoin, giving you immediate cash, Jim. That's what's the beautiful thing about it. It's like I sell it, it's immediately boom, it's in my card. I'm not. This is not a, a sponsor uh, ad. I assure you, I just use BitPay a lot. You know, when I when I have to travel or whatnot. Um, but uh, but uh, I, the only reason why I'm even bringing this up is that because I have Bitcoin, I can use cash or I can I can spend. Obviously, you got to be aware of taxes and how that's going to affect you. Blah, 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 blah. Of course, you know, and we, we're going to have a good tax episode at some point in the next couple months as uh, tax season is here as well. Yeah, yeah. I need to I need to study up on that. I need to figure out the ins and outs of that for sure. Well, if you know. figure it out, let me know, Jim. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't right? want to jam uh, my door <laughs> with the handcuffs. Uh, but hey, I mean, let's talk about fun things like Christmas. <laughs> That's right. Uh, 
I, I do want to, because I, I, I guess I, I didn't mention before too, there, the social media links and stuff are up uh, on the main page as well. Because I did, we did just get a communique from Josh Donaldson saying that the uh, Twitter is getting some nice interaction. So I, like we mentioned the memes, I think the Twitter has some of the more up-to-date memes. I do see a Baby Yoda on there. Everyone does know that right now Baby Yoda is the shit. Everyone loves Baby Yoda. Uh, so yeah, I think it's, it's, uh, well, the links on Bitcoin for Christmas.com or it's at Bitcoin number four Xmas on, uh, Twitter. I mean, I know we're like, this sounds like an ad or something. Like I'm not, (laughs) I'm not trying to do that. Uh, it's just, again, it's just about making it easy for people to understand because I, I, jingle, we need a jingle. Dude, we, we, I seriously, Bitcoin (laughs) for Christmas. I want my Bitcoin for Christmas. What you think? (laughs) <laughs> I, I think we're getting there. I think about halfway there. I mean, for my first attempt ever at a jingle, I, I'll take it. Because uh, I swear to God, I know, I know it can't just be me. It's not always easy to try to tell people like the ins and outs of, um, you know, never mind just Bitcoin, but like crypto in general. Because again, you, the the outside of like one of the main hurdles of just kind of new technology and people uh, trying to understand that. You're you're basically kind of fighting against the mainstream media opinion of crypto being, you know, for criminals. So it is right. nice to slap Christmas right. on there, a nice wholesome uh holiday to try to maybe maybe shake that uh shake that image just a little bit, you know? Absolutely. Now look, I, I wanna tell I kinda wanna tell a, a story here. Um and this person knows exactly who they are. They're gonna listen to this show. I hope, you know, uh they've been listening to the show. So but I'm not gonna say what their name is. That they are a family member of mine, right? They're, you know, I'm not saying how close, extended family, whatever. But I was just hoping for Thanksgiving we do a big uh, family get together. Um, lots of people from the family come in, cousins, aunts, uncles, etc. And uh, you know, my family member comes up to me. He's like, Joe, I need your help. And I'm like, What's up, dude? He's like, um, I can't get into any of my crypto accounts. Um, I'm like, Well, what? Which ones? And he was like, Uh, you know, um. Coinbase first. I like I'm locked out. I got a new phone and my 2FA that you made me set up like it doesn't work anymore. I'm like, oh, well, that's probably because your 2FA does not transfer over when you get a new app or when you get a new phone. You have you don't just get to redownload the app and they're the same. It's just not the way it works. He's like, oh, well, I figured that out now. You didn't tell me. I'm like, I'm sorry. And I, I real and I honestly I know this and I and I probably should have told him when this was going on, but you know, we get so caught up. Like, I know this. It's like instinctually in my DNA now that, you know, you got to undo your 2F, 2FA if you get a new phone. It's a it's a huge reason why I don't even have a new phone yet, right? I just don't want to go through my 900 2FA accounts and have to undo. Anyway, so we're, we're getting on there. And then he's like, I have another account. Oh, I have this I have this exchange. You know, we're going on list. There's like, like three, four exchanges. You know, it's not too bad, you know, but he's literally locked out of every single one of them. Including Binance, which obviously you can't even use anymore as a U.S. customer. You have to use Binance U.S. And and so, I mean, the whole week we spent waiting for these crypto companies to either alleviate, you know, the the issue with 2FA or trying to recover some some uh, some, you know, wallet uh, um, uh, keys. And I mean, we got everything done, but it just goes to show someone who I'm very close with who listens to my show who had not checked their actual accounts because they just keep it, keep track of their portfolio on their phone. You know, they still struggle with this gym, right? Like this yeah. is not something that I find, you know, difficult anymore, but I know for a fact that people that know me that do Bitcoin that have owned it since essentially I made them buy it at some point got locked out of their coin base and they couldn't get back in. Right. Yeah. I mean, and that's just, I just want people to realize like it can happen to everybody and ignoring it or just not dealing with it right now is eventually just going to lead to a huge issue when you do need to access it or you do want to move it or you do want to do something with it, period. It's just take care of it now, but don't feel bad if you don't. And this is what Bitcoin for Christmas will allow you to do. And uh, one of the things I wanted to reference was the fact that we actually went to the site and I made him download these you know, the, the pamphlets that are on the on, that are on the site. And now he's got them on his, on his laptop on his uh, uh, where it's accessible if he needs to refresh or figure something out and I can't, I can't be there to actually walk him through it. And he's got something for him. I mean, that's forever. Like that's literally there. It's super easy. Yeah. Yeah. And actually even to try to drive it home too, like honestly, and I could, <laughs> I didn't get permission to say this, but I, I, I could almost be like, Hey, just download the uh, PDFs and send them to your friends 
Uh, you don't even have to tell them to go to BitcoinforChristmas.com <laughs> if you're like that against supporting it. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Because again, it's just all about getting that information out there. Uh, and we figured, because here we are, first show of December. And like, I think people didn't realize how, uh, since Thanksgiving was really late this year, uh, yeah. that the because most people are like, no, nah, I'm not in the Christmas mood till Thanksgiving, uh, till at least Thanksgiving's over. Like, you know, no, no Christmas talk, no Christmas music, no decorations till Thanksgiving. But you forget, like in a year like this, with um, Thanksgiving being so late, like it really squishes down that shopping season, if you will, uh, for December. Because usually we have like a, a, a like a little under a week left of November before we're like kicking ass right into December. But the clock's ticking, folks. Don't be stressed out. Don't be running around uh, or you know trying to buy stuff where it sells out online or. Yeah, uh, dealing with parking and crowds and all that stuff, and, and even like gift cards, because I, I guess the one of the biggest things to compare to, like you mentioned, cash. You know, a lot of people love to give gift, gift cards. It's the you know, it's the same shit, except you know, you got some potential here. I know we've been seeing seeing a volatile market, but hey, you know, it's been holding. We're probably go, we're probably going up. You're you're here. You must believe it's going up. That's right. That's right. Well said, Jim. You know, I, look. All Bitcoin's ever done is survive. It, 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 no matter what the media says, no matter how it's being used criminally, no matter how many times it's been used for good things, no matter how many times that you've bought or sold it, it's survived. And I'm proud to say it's still here. And we're coming up on 11 years on January 3rd. Think about that, Jim. 11 years. I don't have to say 10 years anymore. Now I can say 11. The double ones. The one one eleven. I mean, it's here, folks. It's staying. and it ain't going nowhere. Bitcoin's birthday is January 3rd? Yep. Is that for real? Yeah, for real. January 3rd is my birthday. Wow. How about that? Wow. I share the, I, I did not realize this. I share a birthday with Bitcoin. You and Bitcoin are one. Oh, that's great. Good for uh, me. No, look, I, we, we're going to, we're going to celebrate Bitcoin's birthday alongside of yours on a special podcast episode, live cast, yeah. where we're literally going to be blowing out candles of the cake and, you know, maybe I'll order some balloons for you, but we're going to do something special for that, Jim. Hell yeah, that's awesome. I feel even more special now. Well, I mean, it's like it's meant to be, dude. Yeah, yeah. Bitcoin. It's, it's called the Genesis block. You should, you should, uh, you should like get that tattooed or something, Jim. That would be tight. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, what would it take for you to get a Bitcoin tattoo? Like, what would it literally take? I don't know. It would probably take a lot because I don't have any tattoos. I don't either. <laughs> if I already had a tattoo, I feel like once someone already has a tattoo, they're way more open to just kind of get whatever but i feel like that first one has to be something special not to say that bitcoin's not special i mean obviously uh but I no, no no agreed no like I, I don't have one either and for me to get a tattoo it would take a lot as well right yeah yeah like uh, bitcoin hitting a hundred thousand dollars there is something that happens though to people i don't know if it's just the ink or the whatever but because something whenever i've had a friend that got one tattoo all of a sudden they're like itching to get more and then they're like yeah yeah they say they're addictive I, maybe one of the reasons why i haven't got one yet is that that scares me a little bit i don't want to be i mean i'm gonna look like you know post malone of here with just tattoos all over my face looking like a crazy dude bitcoin <laughs> like a bitcoin b as a teardrop um but yeah i mean like uh like you said it's not going anywhere i mean hell like you just had a um had a uh, football club, meaning soccer here in the states. Yep. Uh, on the show, and they, they got, fun. That that was cool, man. That's that's interesting. I mean, I it did seem like I, I, I like this though. Like it seemed like their team or their club, however you you know phrase it, like they're about kind of shaking things up and kind of whether it be just trying to get attention or just kind of set themselves out from the crowd because i know sure. they told the story of like what having me khalifa like at there yeah yeah you, just, you kind of just like glossed over it but uh, uh i mean I, know. I was like what <laughs> rocking and rolling over there in the uk uh but yeah no that's cool because i mean like i'm not like i'm an american so it's not like we watch a lot of soccer over here but i know worldwide that is like sure. you know that's the shit that i'm on board yeah yeah that's where all the eyes are so that's that's a that's a pretty big deal no, it's a huge deal. And if you would have told somebody this, you know, three, four years ago, Jim, that that one of the the Premier League soccer football clubs was going to have Bitcoin as a sponsor. First off, you can't just have Bitcoin as a sponsor. Someone literally has to like donate the money, 
yep. because that you can't even like there. It's just it's insane to think that someone literally paid a football club in the Premier League to put this on their shoulder. I I, I like you got to think of the selflessness that or the revolution inspired. I mean, I thought it might have been Patrick at first. You know the way that he he gets all excited about this kind of stuff, but I I. I I'm just so impressed that somebody wanted this to happen. Now, you know, I, I referenced it in the podcast. If you haven't listened to it, folks, go back. It was the Friday podcast, Watford FC. Um, they they have uh, just an incredible, incredible opportunity for Bitcoin to get ex- exposure and to get uh, to get seen and get asked. And people are going to ask questions about it. You know, this is a Premier League team. One of the, I, I think Premier the Premier League literally is the most watched sports league in the entire world. It's like in like 113 of 126 countries or how many other countries there are. Forgive yeah. me. I'm not a geography guy, um, but uh, but that's a lot. Is it not, Jim? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's crazy. It's huge. Anyways, well, look, I, I know we don't want to spoil too much because we got a cool show coming up on Tuesday. And, you know, I know a lot of people are still recovering back and they're still on their, you know, their food drunk, you know, uh, from from Thanksgiving Day. But, yeah. you know. I mean, I, I mean, look at me like look, my beard. I haven't even got off. Like, I haven't been able to do anything. I'm just like, oh, I got to shave today. But I mean, actually, I kind of like it. It's getting a little thick. You know, what yeah. you think, Jim? You, Jim, grow yours out. Let's do this together. Be the Bash Brothers. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I know your look is your look is uh, steady. I mean, I, 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 I hear that you're kind of wrapping up. I do want to mention it real quick um, where I I'd be selfishly unselfish here uh, and i'll probably talk a little bit more about it on the live show but over on my show jim and them um i figure i will bring this to the bitcoin radio family uh just to see uh who, is, who what the generous people are out there but i don't even know if you're aware of this show but over on my show we do a thing every holiday season called uh tots turnt we try to get tots turnt we do a toy drive and we accept donations from listeners okay. out there. Uh, we've, I guess this is the fifth, fifth year we've done it. And uh, all the money goes directly to, we go to toy stores, we buy a shit ton of toys and we bring them to uh, the, one of the fire departments here does a fill the fire truck toy drive. And we always That's roll crazy. up with like four or five carts We've brought bikes. Uh, we had like Nintendo Wii's and stuff last year. Um, uh, a lot of our listeners have been very generous. Where we get, you know, usually we average anywhere from like two to four grand or something like that, and we just buy a bunch of sh- bunch of toys and then gift cards for older kids and then you know stuff for little kids. So if you're so inclined, this is not a scam. I understand. I'm kind of new to the community. So I understand if you're skeptical, but if you go to jimandthem.com, there's a link at the top for Todd's Turnt. Are y'all taking Bitcoin? Uh, I, that, that I should. I guess I should be. I'd have to look into that. I don't have an option. It's, it's just like uh, Bitcoin. I mean, you can just like put up a Bitcoin wallet address. Yeah, I guess I'd have to make I, I, I'd want to make a separate one or something for it, I guess. I'd have, sure, to, sure. I'd have to go to Bitcoin for Christmas and figure out. You're how not to the only it. person yeah. who's had this struggle, so we could probably figure it out. Yeah, yeah, because um, I mean, I was just going to say, yeah, we have pictures and stuff from the past years. So this is legit. We get a nice long receipt. We get all kinds of good stuff. Uh, as a kid, I grew up, uh, you know, where sometimes Christmases weren't so great and places like this helped my family out. So. I love the opportunity to be able to do that. Uh, and we also, if you do donate, you do get an opportunity to get something back because any $25 you, every 25 you donate, you get your name put in a raffle. You get at least an option to win at least a hundred dollar gift card, uh, maybe more, or I guess if a Bitcoin person wins, we'll send you Bitcoin, whatever you want. But, uh, you know, think about it, people. Yeah, well, you know, it is it is that time, and what you just said, Jim, is uh, is you know, it so oftentimes it's taken for granted, you know, what people grow up with or what they don't grow up with, you know, and I mean, it's it's relative to everybody's situation, you know. A lot of times, kids don't even know, and and that's the beauty about being an innocent kid is that you don't know always your situation, but you remember your situation, especially hopefully your your uh, your situation's gotten better, and you know, when you have an opportunity to give back, you you better. That's that's the only way I can say it. You know, I 
I, I'm not going to sit there and scold anybody, but you better. That's, that's the only, that's the only way that I, I know, know to say it. And I know that it means a lot to me to help out. And we've done this in, in CCT as well throughout the years. Uh, and it means a lot to me when I see people give, you know, it's, it's just, it's just the part of the community that makes it a community is the selflessness. And, you know, you, you said you're going to be selfless, selfishly unselfish. And I, I think that's the furthest from the truth. I think you're just unselfish and I, your, your heart's in the right spot. And I applaud your efforts and I wish oh, more people you. were doing it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. And yeah, we sponsored uh, two families one year. We've done the pull the things off the Christmas tree where kids put like at Walmart what they want. So all kinds Love of it. avenues and it, it feels really good to help out. So if that sounds anything interesting to you, please go to Jim and com, and then maybe I'll set up a way to take Bitcoin if people are cool with doing that as well. Sure, yeah, sure. There's no scams here. Don't worry. It's not uh, I'm not trying to rob you, <laughs> even though it's the first four letters of your last name. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which is just classic. Your birthday's on January 3rd and yep. your last name is Scampoli. I yep. mean, Scampoli. Like it's just, it's perfect. You know, okay. uh, it's, it's all meant to be uh, anyways. All right. Any final words? What we missed Jim? Um, no, I think that about does it like, like Joe was saying, we're just checking in real quick after the holiday weekend, just trying to gear up for the next holiday as you know, 2019 is about to be put to bed. So Appreciate you listening, getting through this Monday after the um, post holiday. And I think the most important thing is that the cryptoverse does belong to all of us. Uh, we know what we're doing. What are you doing about it? Chill. What are you doing, folks? Till next time, everybody, here on WBTC where Bitcoin lives. It's Joe and Jim on the Bitcoin radio show. See you soon. Peace.